Hi, I'm Alan Socal, and I'm reviewing a couple small, portable, variable voltage power supplies. I actually reviewed one of these, uh, one of the models from this same supplier, Schnitt Power. Uh, it's uh, S-H-N-I-T, that's right, it is. Schnitt and then P-W-R, so I translate it to Schnitt Power. Uh, the last one I uh, reviewed was a, uh, a, a stepped, uh, z well, 3 to 12 volt supply, but it was a stepping switch, and um, it was uh, a 30 watt. So, um, I believe it was 30 because there were some others that were 36, and that was my my issue was the 36 watt uh, a better value and given the pricing and application and such um, I ruled in favor of Schnitt power I think I held it I pulled off one star but that was it now these are both Schnitt power this particular unit but let me start with the smaller one. The smaller one is actually a uh, 0 to 24 volt, or I should say effectively a 3 to 24 volt, but it's absolutely variable. It doesn't have a step switch. It, um, it's simply a dial your voltage type supply. Now there's no load on this, so uh, I am not going to consider this to be uh, absolutely accurate. Uh, because it's not under load, but uh, it is a variable. It's got a rheostat type um, uh, adjustment here for the voltage, and this has a price point. Let me make absolutely sure. This is the three to twenty-four volt, and it's a forty-eight watt unit. So at uh, twelve volts, uh, you can. Uh, provide power to something that's rated at drawing two amps, which gives you some safety margin for sure. 12 volt, well, no, it doesn't. 12 volts at two amps, you're right on the edge. Uh, and that brings up another point. These supplies per the, uh, uh, the provider, Schnitt Power, they indicate that they're fully protected. So uh, they say that uh, there is a, a protection against overdraws doesn't mean you couldn't apply too high a voltage to a device you're trying to power. That, uh, because this is variable, that's, you have to be the limiting factor. But they're internally protected from uh, the possible, uh, you know, unintentional abuse of drawing more current than uh, the, the units are uh, capable of providing. I presume they'll, they'll drop out and then reset after a period of time? That's a good question I should find out. So this is uh, uh, 3 to 24 volts and uh, with uh, 48 watts of available power. This larger unit, and, and this one's $20, and then the price point on this for $10 more, this is a 120 watt supply. So the thought is, wow, for 10 bucks more, 120 watts. Well, the caveat, remember, up to 24 volts, this one is only up to 12. So, uh, you know, it depends on what you want on your, uh, on your desk or your service area or in a toolbox. Uh, I think having both of these is a great idea if you can do it. Uh, they're similar in so many ways. They both come with 14 barrel connectors. Well, excuse me. It's actually uh, 14 minus 3. So there's 11 popular barrel sizes. And then you get a, um, I don't have the nomenclature for the green one here. Uh, you get this connector and you get a USB-C and a USB mini. So that's, I think, a nice assortment. It's the same assortment for both of these. And then something that Schnitt Power puts in, and I like it, is a reversing cable. 
you simply take the output from either of these units, you plug in the reversing cable, and what comes out here is a reverse polarity. I did some reading the other day when I reviewed the other unit, and it appears the international community is trying to standardize the outer barrel as the, um, as the negative, the DC negative side, and then the internal pin uh, of the barrel would, or not the pin of the barrel, but the receiver for a pin plug uh, would be the positive. So these are really nice features, and you know what? I looked on Amazon. I couldn't find anything exactly like this. So you've got $20 for a 0 to 24 volt, a low drain supply. I mean, you've got 48 watts to work with, and the permutations, I'm sure you're aware, power equals voltage times current. So, uh, But over here, you do have a 12 volt supply that's 120 watts, which means uh, at, at full, without a safety margin, right around 10 amps at uh, 12 volts. That's a lot. And it's a small supply, but I, I thought this was a nice thing to have uh, uh, at my test bench. I noticed too that the uh, gauge here is showing 11.9 on the 12 volt unit. I've got this turned all the way up. And over here it's 24.2 all the way up. And uh, I'm going to um, say that that's probably because these are not under load. So, I'm giving both of these five stars. I thought you'd want to at least see them. Know that I have looked around. The only other supply that might be a good idea if you want to pay for it, it's $70. It comes from a different vendor, and it's 0 to 30 volts DC. Uh, at 5 amps maximum, so 150 watt uh, power supply, uh, as opposed to here's 0 to 12 volts, again, 120 watts for um, $30. I think that's uh, quite a good value, so you're paying more than twice to get a, you know, a power supply in a case and, you know, Reminds me of the old days when I used to repair radios and TVs for money. And in high school, I did that. So uh, I think these are excellent units. They're both going to get five stars. I did the review together because they're so similar. But in this type of product, judging value for me was based on um, primarily price point and power output specs. So, and I like the fact that these aren't stepped. It's actually a dial-in voltage adjustment with a, a meter, so you can see where you're at.